Meantime, cybersecurity firms Zscaler and Rubrik announcing today they're teaming up to strengthen data protection for their customers. The announcement comes as the RSA Security Conference kicks off in San Francisco. And joining us now exclusively from CNBC's San Francisco Bureau, Zscaler CEO Jay Chaudhry and uh, Rubrik CEO Bipul Sinha. Uh, guys, welcome. I, I want to get to the news, but first, Jay, I, I want to ask about some headlines that have dinged your stock over the last couple of weeks. A private company inched past you in Gartner's rankings, Palo Alto Networks, reportedly doing some pretty heavy discounting, trying to catch you. How much of this is you holding the line, trying to protect your margins on pricing, or is something else going on? So, John, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to have me back. Zscaler is not a, a point product that's sold on pricing. We enable secure digital transformation. Our engagement happens at CIO, CISO level. So we are doing well. We really, there is some pricing pressure in the market across the board because of macroeconomics. But some of the, the copycats coming from behind trying to offer cheap stuff doesn't really change the mind of the enterprise customer Zscaler deal with. Our service is mission critical. If Zscaler doesn't work or if the zero trust exchange doesn't work, you can't do any business. So our customers like resilience, they like security, they like the Zscaler experience. So we focus on delivering value to our customers, securing them, then some of the others who are trying to bring down the price. Okay, uh, <laughs> that says it, Bipul, um, you and I, met for breakfast uh, a couple weeks ago when you were talking about, you called Jay up and said, let's do this partnership, double extortion ransomware solution. How is this different from what you can do on your own? Thanks, John, for this opportunity. You know, ransomware and cyber extortion are the biggest threat to our digital economy. And what we saw was Rubrik has this data at rest intelligence and combined with data in motion intelligence and security that Zscaler had, combining the two, we saw that a clear opportunity to help our customers who are really struggling with cyber attacks and ransomware to provide a full end-to-end -end cybersecurity solution around double extortion ransomware. Okay, Jay, I'm, I'm shocked at what is happening right now playing out in the government around security of, of secret information. It seems like, you know, we've got this service member around 21 <clears throat> years old who had access to uh, th these documents and was putting them out on the internet and nobody noticed. Isn't this the very sort of thing that a zero trust approach is supposed to prevent? Just because you have a certain clearance doesn't mean you're not being watched and if your behavior is strange, it gets flagged? John, that's exactly right. The uh, unfortunate thing is, while government is embracing zero trust, it's moving slowly. Here is the metaphor I'll give you. In the old world where before zero trust, you enter the building, you could go to any room you wanted to go to. Now, could the guards be watching you? Where have you gone? Where haven't you gone? That watching goes only so far. That's exactly what happened in this case. Had the government embraced zero trust in this, in this situation, that individual will only have access to certain information, certain documents, not open access. In the old world, you start with open access and try to see, let me watch what's good, what's bad. In the zero trust world, they shouldn't have access. I'm proud of the fact that 12 of the 15 cabinet level agencies are actually in a, in a journey to embrace real zero trust. We're helping them, and most of the government needs to embrace it. That's the only way to secure information, and we're proud to be partnering with government, but things need to move at a faster pace.